Kwasi Akimwe. If this is your first time tuning in, guys, you are welcome. It's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a family, it's always a delight to have you back, guys. Welcome. And I also welcome myself back to you. <laughs> it's been a while. So, guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a um, few interesting facts about Johannesburg. And there are also places that you may likely want to visit if you are in Johannesburg or you are visiting Johannesburg for the first time. Or if you, or even if you're a resident and you've not been to these places, it should be a nice place for you to visit considering that the holidays are coming soon. <laughs> okay, so guys, the first thing I need you to know about Johannesburg that is Johannesburg is a big city. It's, it's the biggest city by population in South Africa. So if you are looking at the map of South Africa and um, you see the Alting province, Johannesburg is in the Alting province, you would see that Alting province is a small, you, on the map it looks small, it is small, but in South Africa, Johannesburg holds the highest number of people. The second point is that Johannesburg has two of the tallest buildings in Africa. If you are jo if you're a resident of Joburg, you must have heard of Carlton Center. Like guys, Carlton Center is is the landmark when you go to CBD. <laughs> the second one, which was finished in 2019, is the Leonardo. It's located in Santin and it stands tall by 227 meters and has 57 floors. Guys, it's the tallest building in Africa. I remember we had a function at work and um, I will be at the seventh floor. Guys, that building is tall and um, it's so beautiful to behold, <laughs> if I can say that. So you may want to go there and dine, you know, and wine and um, have some functions or just take yourself out. It's, they have restaurants in the building as well. So it's a place you may definitely want to see or visit. It also has a rooftop um, space where you can go. I think it's open to the public, but now that lockdown has really affected a lot of companies, I'm not sure if it's, I haven't verified if it's been, it's, if it's currently open to the public. So for both buildings, they are open for people to have access to, to, you know, check, have a, a Johannesburg view, because I know when you go to the rooftop of such building, you end up seeing the old view of the city, which is quite beautiful. So guys, we want to check that out as well. My next part would be to check out the cradle of humankind. Guys, I've heard a lot about that place. I haven't been there myself, but I've heard a lot of good reviews about this place. And um, it was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1999. Let me read out an extract for you. It was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1999. It is renowned as the birthplace of mankind. The next point I would like to highlight is a township. A township in the south is called Soweto. Guys, I didn't know Soweto was an abbreviation for Southwest Township. I only recently knew about that, and I was I thought Soweto was just the name of a, a, a township, you know, so just given like Johannesburg and but I didn't know it was an abbreviation. So, and this township is big, guys. I've been to Soweto many times, and every time I go there, it just reminds me of Lagos. The way Soweto is busy, you know, it also has one of the um, national stadiums. It has, that was where Nelson, the former president Nelson Mandela was. On the same street as the former president uh, Nelson Mandela, we also had another Nobel Prize winner, which was Desmond Tutu, on that same street. It's If you are in South Africa, if you are visiting South Africa, just visit Villa Kazi. Go to Soweto, visit Villa Kazi Street. So it's, um, you, you would see a lot of pictures, some of the letters he wrote when he was in prison, the bullets that came through the house when um, he was still living there during the apartheid days, you know. It's such um, a reminder that people have gone through a lot to get us to where we are here as Africans. So if you're in Johannesburg and um, you just want to feel what it's like and um, know more about history of Nelson Mandela, I think it's a good place to visit and you definitely um, have more insight regarding that. The next point would be about the amusement parks we have here in Johannesburg. So guys, we have Gold Reef City, we have the Empress Palace, we have the Monte Cancino in four ways. You know, we have quite a number of amusement places you could go to with your family that are family friendly, you know, the entertainment side, your kids could have fun, yourself could, you know, catch some fun, eat as well, um, have some rides and, you know, just spend some time together 
together as a family so i'm hoping fingers crossed that this place are fully functional during the upcoming festive season that we are gradually approaching so if it's something you are wondering what you could do while in johannesburg you could definitely visit you know uh, four ways monte casino four ways monte casino you could visit um go to city in the south you could visit empress palace you could visit um we have johannesburg zoo you know there are a lot of places you could visit here in joburg and um i I hope you find them quite amazing. Another thing you should, which you should definitely explore is going to be the malls. I mean, I know a lot of foreign people who would come to South Africa to visit. They, yeah, you just need to go to the malls. You do your shopping. Malls are a good way to spend your money. <laughs> Malls are definitely good places to spend your money. So guys, if you are in Joburg and you're looking for places to visit, you know, you want to visit um, Santin Mall and then it has the Nelson Mandela Square. So they're linked together, but you can always explore. It's big, it's huge, it's beautiful. Another mall you also want to visit is the um, Mall of Africa here in Waterfall, Midrand. And it was built, it was completed in 2016. I remember very clearly because something significant was happening in my family at that period and we were always counting down to the period when the mall would be opened so it was uh, opened in <laughs> 2016 may i think may 2016 it was launched it was opened officially and the mall is beautiful as, as well it's one of the biggest malls we have in south africa and um we have a lot of malls practically every area you would go to in job country and not you have your north gate mall you have the south gate mall you have your mall of the south you have you have your west west gates mall like every part of Joburg has a mall your spot for choice as to where you spend your time if you have uh, so much time in your hands so guys you definitely want to visit those malls and then um, just have a good uh, vibe as to what South Africa has to offer. Joburg has one of the biggest malls in Africa I think Mall of Africa mall of, there's a reason why it's called Mall of Africa guys it's big and it's it's it count, it ranks the third biggest mall in Africa. You may want to check it out while you visit Johannesburg. Last point will be about education. You know, um, South Africa offers has one of the best institutions in Africa. So when it comes to Africa as a whole, South Africa has six universities in the top ten universities in Africa. That's wow, like that's great. So, guys, narrowing down to Joburg, since I'm sharing some interesting facts about Johannesburg, University of Witts and University of Johannesburg ranks the second and fourth place in among the universities top 10 in Africa. They um, put work into making sure that the level of education you've received here in South Africa is great. So with that being said, I think I've shared some um, interesting facts that you may not know. If there's other things that you are aware of that you want other people to know about South Africa, most especially about Johannesburg, you know, interesting facts about Joburg, please just put it in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Let's share more. If there's something maybe I've missed or then you know, or some, some place you want me to have a look at and ruby have you seen this or have you been to this place and you may want to share it in the comment below guys thank you all for watching this video to the very end i'm really really thankful and if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for i would really appreciate that you do that you click on the subscribe button and if you're not following me on social media guys if you don't find me on youtube you'll find me on instagram and you know just follow just say hello you're from youtube i'll be sure i will definitely respond to you and recognize you on my page so guys thank you all for watching this video to the very end i'll see you all in my next video bye